Sigh no more, lady, sigh no more. Men will deceive us ever. One foot on sea and one on shore. To one thing constant never. Then sigh not so, but let them go. And be you blithe and bonny. Converting all your sounds of woe into hey, 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 nonny, nonny. Nineteen eighty-five, Middlebury College, Vermont, Balthazar, in a theater department production of Much Ado, for which I wrote the music. The only time I've ever actually performed Shakespeare. But let's be honest about what it was. A classic case of token diversity. Flash forward, 1999, Vancouver. The phone rings, it's the late, great John Giuliani. He directed me the previous year in an all-Asian production of Arthur Miller's A View from the Bridge, for which I'd won a Jesse. John said he was now going to be directing Macbeth for Bard on the Beach, and he wanted to follow up our previous success by pitching Bard an all-Asian version of the Scottish play a la Kurosawa's Throne of Blood. Was I in? If chance will have me king, why chance may crown me without my stir. And that was as close as I ever got to performing at Bard. The all-Asian Macbeth never materialized. Over the years, I've certainly thought about what might have been tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. 2020 now, the age of COVID. The live performing arts have come to a full stop. And as painful as that is, it's also an opportunity for a cultural reset, an opportunity for theaters to examine their practice and really lean into the work of decentering and, and decolonizing. Deandersizing the white male canon. Because at their unexamined worst, Shakespeare's plays, Western theater for that matter, are cultural monuments to white male privilege and entitlement. We'll take Balthazar's little ditty Hero just sang about. It's a celebration of male infidelity that women are told to happily accept. Nani nani. Shakespeare's plays are not Confederate statues. They are art and they are political and that belongs to all if all are allowed to play and speak the words. The challenge is to reimagine Shakespeare in ways that honor these Coast Salish lands and waters and our multi-ethnic, multi-gendered societies. It is a process that is already happening. In the Bard season just canceled, I was to play the King of France in Henry V, but there's more for me. There's more for all of my relations. For I am all the subjects that you have, which first was mine own king. And here you sty me in this hard rock, whilst you do keep from me the rest of the island. We at the height are ready to decline. There is a tide in the affairs of men, which taken at the flood leads on to fortune. Omitted, all the voyage of their life is bound in shallows and in miseries. On such a full sea are we now afloat, and we must take the current when it serves, or lose our ventures. Whose books are these now? These trees shall be my books.